Good afternoon, fellow viewers. Welcome back to Easy Mathematics. Last week, we were talking about algebra or algebraic expression, how to simplify and substitute. Today, we want to look at algebraic expression for perimeter and area of shapes. Today, we want to start with the perimeter. So algebra or algebraic expression for perimeter and areas of shape, area of shapes. When we say perimeter, what is a perimeter? A perimeter is, is, is defined as the distance around a shape. So if I have this shape, for example, let's say this is A, this is A, this is A, this is A. If I want the perimeter of this, the perimeter says that at the distance around this shape. So I'm going to say A plus A plus A plus A. The distance around it. So perimeter here gives me 1, 1, 1, 1. Last week when we were dealing with algebraic expression. There is 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 gives me 4. So the perimeter for this shape is 4a. That is what today we are going to look at. How to find the perimeter of given shapes. Let's say we have to find the perimeter of this. Here is 4. We have 8 here. We have 4 here. We have 3a. We have 2a and A. We have to find the perimeter of this shape. What is perimeter for the first place? Perimeter is the distance around this shape. So from here to here, 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 there, there, here, gives me the perimeter. So I'm going to say P is equal to, which is P stands for perimeter. Perimeter is equal to, let me start this way. So 3A plus 4, plus 8, plus 8, plus 2a, and plus 12. So, these are the distance around this shape. When you look at the shape carefully, you have a number and a variable. You have a number, a number, and a variable. Last week we said that to simplify a different expression, you have to group like terms. So what are the like terms in this expression? The like terms are the numbers having the same variables. The number here is 1, but we don't write it. So I'm going to group like terms by saying that P is equal to 3A plus A plus 2A. Then I'll bring the numbers without the variable. So plus 4 plus 8 plus 4. Now I can add this and this, that and that. They are the same, so we call them like terms. 3 plus 1 is 4, because there is an unseen one here. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 gives me 6a. Plus of 4 plus 8 gives me what? 12. And 12 plus 1 gives me 24. Because this is a number and a variable, and it's not having some, I'll leave my perimeter like this. And this is how we find a perimeter for algebraic expression. Let's take the next shape and see. Let's say we have this, that, that, this. We have to find a perimeter. We have, let's say, 8 here. 8 here. K, 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 K. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around the figure. Distance around the figure. So this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this will give me the perimeter. So let's start from this k. So k plus k plus 8 plus k 
class A, class 8. Now when you look at this expression, you can see an alphabet, a variable, and a number. So what do I do? Group like things. B is equal to K, 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 K. So I'll group them. Plus K, plus K, plus K. Plus 8, plus 8. I'll group like things. There is no number here, so it doesn't mean there is one. But we don't write the one. So I can say P e is equal to 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So this gives me 4 K e plus 8 plus 8, 16. And this becomes the perimeter for these shapes. That is all under the perimeter for algebraic expression. So now let's look at the last one, the area. We know area. Before you be able to find the algebraic expression for area of a shape, you have to know the formula for finding the area. Let me take this shape for example. This shape is a rectangle. So this is my length, this is my width or breadth. To find the area of this, the area of this square is given as length times width. So you are going to multiply your length times your width. Then that gives you your area. So this is going to give me L W. That is all under the area. If you know the formula, you are good to go. Let's look at the shape. Triangle. What is the area for a triangle? The area of a triangle is given us half times base times height. One will ask, what is the base? What is the height? The height is from the apex to the base. That means this is the base. The line that is sitting. We call this one slant height. So this is my height. If I know the height and I know my base, I can find the area of a triangle. So let's take an example and see how it works. Let's say I have this shape and to find its perimeter. See? I'm to find the perimeter of this shape. We have here eight, eight, two a. We have here, let's say, three a. When you look at this shape carefully, it looks like two shapes that they joined together. They join a triangle and a rectangle. Good. So let's say the height for this rectangle is four. You said I have to find the perimeter of this. The, sorry, the area of this shape. This shape is a triangle and a rectangle. So what am I going to do? First find the area of the triangle, the area of the rectangle, and put them together. This triangle, I can write it as, I can redraw it as this. So the slanted height is 3a, and the height itself is given as 4. Now I'm left with the base, which is this. This being the base, and this shape being a rectangle means, because this is 2a, this side is also 2a. So I now have my height, and I have my base. I can find the area. Now when I look at the rectangle too, it is also like this. For me to find the, rectangle, the area of the rectangle, I need my length and my width. What is the length? The longest side is given as 8. What is the width? The width is given as 2a. So find the area of the triangle and find the area of your rectangle. Area of your triangle, let's say triangle, is given as half times base times height. From the triangle, this is the base. This is the height. So half times base. What is base? The base is given as 2a. So 2, 1, 
over 2, that is half times the base, which is 2A times the height, 4. So this is it. Half times base times height. Base is 2A. Height is 4. Because I am multiplying, these two here can cancel these two. So I'm left with A times 4. A times 4 will give me 4A. So the area for this rectangle, triangle, is 4A. Then I'll find the area of, let's say, the rectangle. That one is given as length times width. What is the length? 8. What is the width? 2. 8. So length is 8 times width. 2A. Two 2A. Two now this, we are not adding. If you are to add, it is impossible. But because we are multiplying, it is possible. So we are going to say 8 times 2 is 16. So this gives me 16A. Now the area for the rectangle is 16A. And that of the triangle is 4A. So what do I do? Put the two together. So the area becomes 4A plus 16A which is equal to 20A as your area for this shape. So this is how we find the area for algebraic expression. See you got with the next week. Same time, and next week we'll be bringing strands of basic seven. This brings us to the end of revision under basic six strands. Bye-bye.